Hi friends, this is Mike. Here we're talking about uh, the political situation here in the United States. It seems both candidates are talking about their uh, medical history. Uh, we, the people of the United States, are hiring a prospective uh, candidate for president. And uh, those candidates do have a right to privacy. We don't have an unmitigated right to just pry into their doctor's office and find out anything we want because uh, we feel we're at risk. We are expected as employers to go ahead and take the risk and afford people their privacy. And that's in the private sector and the public sector. And uh, that applies to our taxes, too. People have a right to privacy about their taxes for the simple matter that uh, people assume things about what you've contributed to the United States, and they don't even know. Uh, they might have, if they have a tax revenue for a couple of years, that still doesn't prove what you've contributed or not contributed to the United States. Uh, that's just a couple of years. You've, you've, you might have been here paying taxes for several years and just haven't paid the last few years. Uh, so it's like they don't really have a right to know uh, about your relationship with the government. Your relationship with the government is as a people, individually, and a people individually as a person. You have a personal right to representation with the government according to the Constitution, and they don't have a right to pry into your relationship with the government and try to like find derogatory information about you and try to publicize that trade in a good name to the body. They simply just don't have that right. It's undemocratic, it's unconstitutional. And uh, thanks, and uh, have a nice day, keep smiling. Even a 50